I'm here with Alvin Williams, um, former Philadelphia basketball player, uh, played with the, the Raptors and a few other NBA teams, Villanova University, and high school you went to again, Al? Germantown Academy. Germantown Academy. Yep. He's here today with the Academy of Hoops, which focuses on fundamentals in basketball and mentoring um, young athletes. Tell us more about Academy of Hoops, Al. Um, it's basically just coming out of the idea myself, uh, Mike Smith, Brian Lee, Augustine Woodland, and uh, Jonathan Haynes. A bunch of us, you know, former basketball players, just thought of the idea of fundamentals were missing in the game. The youth, you know, these guys are so talented now, so athletic and quick and everything like that. Sometimes they, they lose the focus on fundamentals. So that's pretty much what the, what the premise is, you know, fundamental individual skill work, which eventually leads into team philosophies and things like that. So essentially, what do you do? You go to one school, you tour the nation, you're strictly in Philadelphia. How's it work? It's local right now. You know, I mean, ideally, we would love to have it internationally. But um, right now, we're based out of Germantown Academy, my former high school. They're, they're a partner with us. And we do the individual um, skill work March, March through October. And then during the winter seasons, during the season, we film the kids and we break down film. And just that whole concept of actually seeing them on camera, seeing what they can do on camera. And then we end up breaking it down. Then March starts. Then we do the individual skill work predicated on their deficiencies and their strengths also. So you came up with this idea. Obviously, you saw the void, um, as you spoke about earlier during the day. Um, who were some of your best coaches, and, and what did you learn when you were at this level that still sticks with you today? Um, well, as a guy that everyone knows, a lot of people know John Arnett. John Arnett I met through uh, the Sunny Hill League, and he was my coach since I was about 13, 14 years old. And he just he, he opened gyms. He spent a lot of time with this, and he just got gyms. And a lot of athletes from the city, you know, some of us became NBA players. A lot of guys were successful and played basketball other places, but he opened up the gym and opened up my eyes to the, the importance of fundamentals and the importance of the message. But I had great coaches. I had a guy, Kyle Lewis. I had Rodney Handy. I had a lot of coaches, my high school coach. But my dad was able to put me in the, in the middle of all these guys that provided that, that, source, of, uh, that source of knowledge for me. So you said your dad, uh, what's the importance of fathers being involved in their, their children's athletic upbringing? Oh man, that's very important. It's very important to have a mother and father, you know, but you know, today, you know, that's not always ideal, that's not the situation. But as long as you have someone that's, that has authentic care and concern for the kid, and really their well-being, then, you know, it skies is the limit, I think. And a lot of times you have situations where basketball right now is such a business. I have an opportunity to work in the NBA. It's such a business. College is a business now that from ground, from grassroots, everybody's probably looking for something. A lot of times, and then kids are being used. Not in all situations, but in some situations they are. So you just, it's, it's important to be around a positive circle and the best circle for these kids from an early age. Uh, you, you talked about some of your experiences uh, and coaches on a high school level, college level, professional level. Um, and one thing that stuck out while you're talking to some of the guys was about the basketball network of how it's a very small network and that one could advance themselves or hinder themselves based on their reputation and, and their attitude. Uh, could you speak to that a little bit more? I didn't get that on film earlier. Oh yeah, well it was basically just saying how basketball is a fraternity and you know if you're involved with fraternities or you're involved with any type of groups that's going further or whatever or it's bringing a group together, information is, is, is spread but it's, it's only it's short. So what I mean by that is anything you do or say, it could be the one person, it could just be out loud. A lot of people in that basketball circle or any of that fraternity, it can carry a lot of weight. And the one thing, a lot of kids, they fail to realize they want to go to college and they want to go to the NBA. And they have a lot of great sources right here, resources. I played in the NBA, I have a lot of good connections, it's being able to scout in the NBA. So I look at talent evaluation, I look at attitudes, and that's at the top level. We got a lot of affiliations with colleges around as far as people we know in the coaching staff. So we got a, we got a lot of arms in this, in this atmosphere as far as where we can help a kid out being just a resource or being a source of information. So I mean, that, that, that's, it's a small window and it's a small fraternity. But um, hopefully we can get that message across to the kids. All right, three final questions. Uh, all athletes remember moments during their career, high school, college, and pro. Give me your best on the court memory from high school, best on the court memory in college, best on the court memory in a professional. I mean, like play by play, you, you're either you're on defense or offense or something that you saw, in particular something that you were involved in on the court. 
um, high school. I mean, he had so many games in high school. I, I don't think I had one specific, one specific moment. I, um, man, high school was. I had a great high school career. I mean, it was fun. I remember that just being fun, but it's not one. Your your your, your most competitive challenger in high school. Most competitive challenger in high school. Uh, I'm gonna have to go against someone I played, Jonathan Haynes, as part of the group. But I okay. just remember my rook, my freshman year. He was a senior, and he was a McDonald's All-American, and I was very, very nervous playing against him. But I had probably my best game as a freshman that game. He had 36 points. He dunked on me and everything. But uh, <laughs> is that, I mean, that's like my brother now, so we could talk about it. But I just remember going into that game. I was never more. I was never more nervous and basically scared to play a basketball game just because I knew his mentality. But that was a high school. But they, it, it, we lost, but it ended up I played well individually. Okay, college, Villanova. College. Give me that one. College, probably, uh, probably my my freshman year we won the NIT. It wasn't the NCAA tournament, but okay. it was the NIT. But it wasn't much expected out of us, and we actually we turned that season around. And that 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 moment playing in the Madison Square Garden and everything like that that was. That was a great time for me. And your professional moment? Um, I bet it was two of them. Is uh, okay. beating the New York Knicks in the playoffs, and then actually coming here, and getting a chance to play against the 76ers in front of my hometown. You know, first the year before I didn't get any time, and then the next year I actually was a, a part of us making a little run, trying to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. But um, the Sixers went to the championship that year. That was one of the best times, getting a chance to play in front of my mom and dad, my friends and family. Allen Iverson torched me, but um, <laughs> it was it was great, man. I've got a chance to really. That's where I was at in my career, but that was that was one of the best times. Did you ever get a you did you ever get a chance to play against Michael Jordan? Yes, played against Michael Jordan my first time playing. He had to turn around three point three pointer in my face with two seconds left in the half, and um, after that he was with the Wizards. Uh -huh. So it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't the <laughs> Michael Jordan role, but it was everybody took shots at him like he was. So what, I, what, tell us something that's said on that court that we don't normally hear. I mean, obviously you can't use profanity, but like. What is it like being on the court of, with Michael Jordan and those competitive players? What are they saying to one another? To do they are they motivating themselves? Are they talking to themselves? Or like what, what is going on on that floor? It's a battle. We're wa we know we're watching a, the overall battle, mm -hmm. but I'm sure there's some individual psychological battles going on yeah. out there. What, what, what are those conversations like? Oh, uh, it's crazy. First of all, you gotta realize a lot of guys are friends. A lot of guys know each other. And sometimes it's personal stuff. So sometimes it's just joking. A lot of times you might have been out with the player before the, the night before. So a lot of things go on on that court. But you know, what I mean, but it's competitive. You take somebody like Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls at that time. They were so focused and so in tune with each other as a team. It wasn't much going on, even though they had characters. They had Dennis Rodman. They had Michael Jordan. Scott. They had those guys, but they were focused as a team. So it's pretty much you were focused on trying to beat them, and they was focusing on not losing. So. It's, 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 it's serious out there. It's serious. You see a lot of stuff, but at the end of the day, it's real serious. But it's a lot of trash talking. It's a lot of personal stuff. It's a lot of hurtful stuff sometimes if you allow it. But you got to stick to the strip and, you know what I mean, and stick to what your team is doing. Uh, so you're here with Alvin Williams, um, Academy of Hoops, spending some time in the Fells Gym in Philadelphia, working with Philadelphia Public School basketball. Thank you a lot. Thanks.